Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 27th of 2020, well, it is titled the shell galaxies in Pisces. So what do we see here? Well, central to this image is actually a galaxy a pair known as ARP 227. And that's actually two galaxies there. The one to the left looks like a nice spiral galaxy with the distinct blue spiral arms and a much redder center. And the one to the right is a shell galaxy. Now a shell galaxy is an unusual type of galaxy where we have shells and arcs of material coming out from the center. So as we look at it, we don't see a distinct disk as we see with the spiral galaxy. We don't see spiral arms. We just see these blotches of material streams of material around it. And this is generally generally believed to be because of galaxy interactions or galaxy mergers. So a couple of things that could have caused this and we don't know for sure which is correct. It could be a gravitational interaction with the spiral galaxy off to the right of the shell galaxy. Or it could have been a merger with a much smaller galaxy that could have caused this uh, type of thing to occur. So we don't know for sure which one, but we do know that it's an unusual type of galaxy. And when we see those, it generally points to some kind of gravitational interaction between the galaxy, between this galaxy and another. Now, if we look towards the upper left, we see another example of this. We seem to see another set of shells up in the ga up in the galaxy in the upper left hand side as well. Again, telling us something that it has interacted with another galaxy in the recent past. And we say recently, that's recently from a galactic standpoint, because over hundreds of millions or a billion years, the ripples will die down and the galaxy will start looking like an ordinary spiral or elliptical galaxy again. So we only see this during the phase of that interaction. It's a relatively short lived phase that may last a few hundred million years. But when we're talking about a galaxy that will live for 10 billion years or more, that's a relatively small portion of its life. But what we are learning is that all galaxies have interacted and probably looked something like may perhaps one of these at some point in the past. And that would include our own Milky Way galaxy. Because the large galaxies we see today, the large spiral and elliptical galaxies, were built up from interactions and cannibalism and mergers from smaller galaxies in the distant past. So over billions of years, we took small galaxies and very large star clusters, and those were built into the galaxies that we see today. So in some cases like this, we're seeing some evidence of what happened long ago. That was a relatively common feature long ago and much rarer today, but shows how those galaxies have developed into the galaxies that we see today. So that was our picture of the day for August the 27th of 2020. It was titled Shell Galaxies in Pisces. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be in the valley. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.